like to introduce you to Microsoft Intune. Now, if you're not familiar with Intune, Intune has been a product that Microsoft came out with a few years ago that they are heavily pushing. In fact, they, um, they've they really, really started pushing this hard uh, so that it can be a solution that you can use for managing all your devices, both on-premise as well as off-premise. So. Uh, devices that travel, devices that are on-premise, even devices that are hosted in the cloud can be uh, managed by Intune. In other words, virtual devices and all of that uh, is all going to be uh, something you can manage through the cloud. Now, first thing to know here is that Intune is Microsoft's MDM, MAM solution. What does that mean? Well, MDM is mobile device management, MAM is mobile application management, and uh, this all came about years ago uh, when the smartphone became popular. So as smartphones became popular, um, the companies needed a way to manage those devices uh, that, that are obviously people are carrying around with them. It's kind of a scary thing when you think about the fact that a, a user could be using their smartphone to browse some of the sketchiest places on the internet and then five seconds later they could be checking their work email and accessing work documents from that same phone. Um, so the industry needed a solution for this. So what ended up happening was an organization called the OMA, the uh, uh, OMA, the Open Mobile Alliance, which is made up of a bunch of the different cellular companies. They developed a, a, a standards, and that standards is called MDM. Microsoft's product, MDM product, is Intune, and it is a cloud-based solution that allows you to enroll devices and manage those devices. Now, of course, Intune did kind of start out focusing just on mobile devices like uh, smartphones, but now all Microsoft software uh, is uh, manageable with the utilization of Intune. So you could be using a, a desktop work, uh, workstation, you could be using a Surface tablet, you could be using a smartphone, it could be Apple, it could be Android, they're now st starting to support Linux um, and Mac OS and all of that can all be managed through Intune. And what's great about it is it doesn't rely on on-premise services. The device could travel anywhere in the world. As long as it's got an internet connection, it can be managed. Now, again, if you just go out to Google or Bing and just search the words, what are Intune? Uh, what is Intune? You'll come across this article here, Microsoft Intune. They tell you sec uh, securely manages identities, apps, and devices. So it's a method for allowing devices to be enrolled, those devices can be uh, looked at as what apps are on them, inventoried, monitored, and you can then provide remote services against those devices, such as the ability to deploy settings to those devices, deploy apps to those devices, uh, make changes to the apps, make changes to the, to the uh, settings of the device. You can add security down to the device, and um, it gives you a lot of control. Now you might say, well, wait a minute, that's fine if it's a corporate owned device, but what if it's a, a personal owned device? Well, you are limited on what you can do if it's a personal device, um, unless they unless they enroll it, which if it gets enrolled in Intune and it's linked to Intune, at that point you can manage it, but if it's not, you can have uh, application restrictions that are placed on the apps that users install. So for example, if a user downloads Outlook, uh, and they start trying to check their work email, as soon as they authenticate using that work email account, then um, restrictions can be placed on Outlook while they're using it. Same for things like uh, Word and Excel and all of those things. So even if they don't enroll the device, you actually can have a measure of restrictions that are placed on it, okay? Um, so there's lots of, of capabilities and features that you get with this. You can manage it over the web. They tell you it integrates with other Microsoft services and apps. You get autopilot, which is a big deal. Um, the ability to, to do zero touch installation, or I'm sorry, zero touch provisioning uh, remotely, meaning uh, you can buy new, new computers, plug them in, and autopilot is going to be able to help manage that. I'm not going to get too deep into that in this particular video, but Ultimately, the amount of things you can do is, is uh, crazy that they're starting to support and they're adding new features all the time. Uh, in the past, on-premise devices mostly would be managed through GPOs, what are called GPOs, Group Policy Objects. And you can still do that in an on-premise domain, but um, unfortunately GPOs, you know, if a device leaves the network, those GPOs, those Group Policy Objects, can't really be applied unless there's connectivity. 
with uh, with Intune, you can apply a lot of the same policies that you applied with GPOs on premise, and it doesn't matter where the device is. The device could be anywhere in the world and still uh, be managed. So let me show you how we can just jump right into uh, Intune. First thing you gotta understand is that you could just start right here on portal.microsoft.com and click show all and then click right here where it says endpoint manager or you can just go to endpoint.microsoft.com either way you're going to end up in the same place so here we are in the microsoft intune admin center this is sort of the starting point all right you can see you start out here on home you can have a little dashboard to kind of look at all the stuff going on in your environment um, you can click on all services and kind of see a list of different services that you've got involved in Intune. Um, you can click devices and you can see all the devices that have been linked to Intune. And currently, I have only one device that's linked to Intune. You can see it by platform, Windows, iOS, Mac OS, Android, Chrome OS, Linux. So those are your different platforms. And Microsoft, I do want to warn you, they change this interface almost every week. So don't be surprised if your screen might look a little different than mine. Um, but you can, you can, you have the ability to enroll devices, which I'm not getting too deep into right now. But this is where you would go, and there's, you can see where it mentions autopilot, um, which is one of the big things that it does. Uh, so lots and lots of capabilities here, getting into policies and updates that can be deployed out to your devices. Here's where apps gets managed, so you can deploy applications. Make uh, you can put restrictions on applications. You have what are called app protection policies. All right endpoint security so security capabilities that can be put in place you have all these reports you can see what users are um, given a, a license the so one thing you'll you'll want to be aware of is when you are working with uh, Intune a user must have a license to be managed they're in a user's device that they're going to be linking to Intune they have to have a license before they can do that um, so essentially, like here, if I look at my uh, user, JC, John Christopher here, John Christopher, uh, if I click on licenses, I can see that I have a, a license for Intune. Now, how do I know that? Because, th because this right here, Enterprise Mobility Plus Security, gives you a license for Intune. All right, so if you click on that, you'll see we have Intune. All right, not getting into the various plans right now, but... Um, there is various plans and you can have uh, different features that get are available to you based on that all right but you can actually get uh, have an Intune license having this enterprise mobility plus security subscription you could actually have an Intune license separately or if you have one of the Microsoft 365 subscriptions uh, like the e3 and the e5 you get into in that way as well all right but um, ultimately, in order for a user's device to be managed by Intune, that'll be done by having a license. By default, um, Intune will, will manage up to five devices per user, but you can actually stretch that to 15. Um, there is a, a way to do that, which I'm not getting into right now. All right, so that's where your users are. You can also see your groups that are associated here. Now, this all ties back to Azure AD. So when you click on users and groups, you're really just looking at Azure AD, which is part of what they call Microsoft Intra. Okay, uh, and of course, there's tenant administration here, which ties back to Azure Active Directory. Not going to get into a lot of depth there. And then there's also a troubleshooting and support area. So um, that just kind of gives you a high level look and a, a quick introduction to what Intune is. All right, ultimately Intune is incredibly powerful and I'll tell you this is sort of the future. This is sort of where Microsoft is headed. So if you're wanting to be cutting edge, Intune is definitely something to be looking into. Here's the other good news. Intune is a whole lot less complicated than all the older technologies out there. And, and, and it's hard for me to say that. As somebody who has taught group policy objects and all that, I have taught that for... 20 something years of my life since since the year 2000 and I was even teaching uh, NT policies back in the 90s uh, and as somebody who's done consulting work with group policies all these years I have love, love group policies but it's dated Intune managing devices through Intune is the way to go that's the that's the future that's where Microsoft is wanting you to go and of course that's where you kind of want to put your your focus in uh, in learning this stuff all right so hopefully this video has given you a little bit of a or a basic understanding of the purpose of intune and now we're ready to move on
Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.